This is Josh from Arknight. Um, NerdArc knows that we make role-playing maps, we make uh, transparent object overlays, and we make flat plastic miniatures. Uh, and so this idea has always been on the table that if they had a module or something, we could pimp it with maps and miniatures and overlays. So this out-of-the-box idea came up where they said, we have a book of 30 different encounters with stretch goals, possibly more. Could you guys go in with us? And we said, yeah, if you want to go big, we would love to go big. So what we're doing here is we've created an idea where we've got two entire packs of our maps, two entire packs of our miniatures, two entire packs of our overlays. And using those, uh, you get this, this development kit that you can do all these different things with. But we didn't want to just pluck the best maps, the best miniatures, the best object sheets from what we already had. We want to go encounter by encounter through this entire book, plus stretch goals if they get unlocked, custom make a development kit that lets you pair any two pages you need, give you the exact kind of layout you need for that encounter. When you go to some other encounter, it might now be this tile and this tile, mixed and matched in some unique ways. All of our maps are already rotatable, they're already module, you can already flip them. With two entire packs, we have 32 map faces to make dozens and dozens of layouts covering all of the modules in the book. Any miniatures we need, we throw them in. If we don't have unique miniatures, we're gonna custom make all the artwork. Uh, and moreover, a map layout might be nearly what you need, but have a critical feature. We're not going to print that critical feature on the map tile and have it be pigeonholed into one of that use. Instead, we use transparent overlays. We're going to die cut these. So any given thing like a giant fountain in the middle of your town or an obelisk or something you find out in the wilderness or a giant pitfall, we're going to use transparent uh, doodads to create all of that. So you're going to have a system here of modular tiles and transparent doodads that let you build every possible encounter in that book. And to be honest, you'll be able to make hundreds more encounters after that. Uh, but in total, you have uh, about 124 miniatures. Our normal die has 62 miniatures per pack. We might switch some dies around, but roughly 120 pieces. Uh, and it'll all be custom made for this project. So it's going to be fantastic.